You rolling? Aaron Russo, the founder of a nationwide movement to end the private Federal Reserve. They have all the money they want. They can make all the money they want. They, they have a machine that can make all the money. <laughs> it's not about money. It's about control. It's about their vision of how they want to see the world. This was Aaron Russo's final videotaped interview. The whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be in those chips. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. We've never before seen sections of the historic interview. Ferris Air is poison to our country. Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's lib. They do whatever they want to do. What we want doesn't matter anymore. It's their agenda, it's their plans that matter. Released in full for the first time. What happened on 9-11 is a phony, you know? And we've never learned the truth about 9-11. You hear George Bush saying democracy means freedom. No, democracy equals new world order. I believe God put me on this earth to be the best person I could be and put everybody on this earth to be the best they could be. You have to stand up for what's right in life. And unless you do that, you're nothing. Reflections and Warnings, an interview with Aaron Russo. Coming to the Info War, June 3rd, 2009. Did Hitler get elected on Monday and start throwing people into ovens on Friday? No, it was a gradual process. The first thing that Hitler did was start to write newspaper articles. Every, everything that was going wrong was the Jews' fault. They're the ones that caused all these problems. Did the Jews write their own newspaper articles and go, I disagree? So then, the Jews had to wear the Star of David, so that we can tell who you are. Did they say, no, that's a violation of my property, privacy, I don't have to tell you. No, the Jews decided, well, it's a religious symbol. We love God, we should be proud to wear the Star of David. Eventually, the, Jew, the Germans came in and they broke all of the windows in all of the Jewish businesses in one weekend. The, the Saturday night was known as Kristallnacht, which is German for night of glass. Did the Jews rise up and say, now damn it, you're violating my property, you shouldn't do that. No. Gosh, we don't want to make the Germans any madder than they already are. Don't piss them off. They've got guns. Eventually, the Germans are loading them up into cattle trailers in the, on the train. Where do you think you're going? On vacation? Where do you think they're going to take you? Well, now you're cold and naked and they're walking you into the ovens where you're going to go to mass execution. Is it time now to raise your hand and say, you know, I tend to disagree with all of this. Bang! You're dead. It's too late to complain. You should have complained at the beginning when you at least had a chance. How bad do things have to get before you do something? Do they have to take away all your property? Do they have to license every activity that you want to engage in? Do they have to be throwing you on cattle cars before you start to say, now wait a minute, I don't think this is a good idea. How long is it going to be before you finally resist and say, no, I will not comply, period? Sooner or later, you've got to draw a line and stand your ground, whether anybody else does or not. That is what liberty is all about. This is the difference between the power of the, our Creator and anything else, particularly evil. That you can go into a pitch black room full of evil, full of darkness, and light a little candle, and instantly 
that darkness flees. But you can't do the opposite. You can't go into a well-lit room full of truth and wisdom and righteousness and joy and health and harmony with the universal power. And you can't take a, any amount of darkness and go into that well-lit room and have any effect whatsoever. That is the metaphor which I frequently think of when I think that I'm not empowered. It is the greatest lesson for me and I think for everybody else to know that we're on the winning side and that we win in the end.